Did you catch last week? We finally got Tangaroa back in the water and it was so nice to get back home to the family, eat some fresh fish we got in Steveston and just enjoy being on our mooring. Hey everyone, we're the Carmina family from Victoria, BC, Canada. Last year, we decided it would be a great idea to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. We found a 1969 Stevens Brothers aluminum boat that needed a lot, and I mean a lot of love. Of course, we decided it'd be fun to make all the repairs and do the refit ourselves. After 19 years of marriage, this may be the end of us. Join us on our adventures cruise in the Pacific Northwest and getting Tango Rota ready for a massive trip around the world. What do you think about middle school being done? I mean, I'm happy about it. Sorry, what? I'm happy about it. Are Once you? I got through it with pretty good marks. Did you like middle school? No. What do you mean, no? I just don't like school in general. Okay. Are you ready for high school? No. Why? I have no idea. Okay. Are you ready to live on the boat and go to high school from the boat? No. Why? I'm just not. Don't want to move on the boat? No. Oh geez. See? Teenagers. Well, well thing is I kind of do because it seems really fun, but I don't want to travel too far from school. Oh, you won't. You're actually closer to school than you are where we live. Yeah. So, we'll see. Until mom and dad pull up anchor and we head to somewhere tropical. Not with me. Not with you? Not leaving with us? Oh, come on, the Philippines, Bali. Wouldn't not it be cool? Happening. No. Alaska. No. Not happening? What will happen if we do? You kind of have to come with us. I'll get someone else to adopt me. What? Like who? Like, I'll live with Marley's family. You live with Marley's family. Yeah, because Auntie Krista will say no. <laughs> You're such a goober. Goober in our family is a term of endearment. And this little goober, well, we're going to keep her because she's awesome at letting go of the mooring line. Point at, now stand up and point at the mooring for dad so he knows where it is. Okay, Abby, I want you to go to the back and make sure the tender's okay. Let's be careful, we have no railings. And we're off again. Where are we going? Heading downtown. Oh, it's gonna be fun. We're bringing some redneck, half refit mess of a boat to downtown Victoria. We are definitely not a bougie boat, as Krista calls her boat. She's bougie. We are not bougie. Big but not bougie. Big but not bougie. But here we go. Thank you. 
why everybody was waving so happy. <laughs> picked up it was hard to see these logs and there was a ton of them. Uh, the prop spinning on it. I was too busy down below going. Was it? great run down the east coast of the Sandwich Peninsula towards Victoria, but as soon as we rounded the corner, we got the poop kicked out of us.
Thank gosh the teenager just kind of slept through it all. Until things started to fall. So we were taking these fairly large swells on the beam, which is never good in this boat. So I just kind of headed up into them. So we're taking them on the uh, port forward quarter. We're just taking them on the port, so it's just easier to ride them. And as soon as we get into the lee of Discovery Island, and the Chatham, not Discovery, Chatham Islands, then I'm hoping we can uh, bear off and take them from behind us. But I'm just trying to do that right now. Just, we were so rolling, everything was flying. And we are totally not ready for ocean passages. We are not secure on this boat. So, yeah, I don't want to lose the fridge. I spoke too soon. We lost the fridge. Once the waves stopped coming over the wheelhouse, it was time to get the salt off the window so we could see. This really brought me back to working on the big yachts. I think we gave our dog a complex with the rolling and things falling. And then we arrived, downtown Victoria, British Columbia. Where are they? We had organized Chris and Dave off our time to help us with our lines. Watch out for that really expensive boat in front of you. How are you two doing? And after docking, the kids had to get the salt off the boat. Back over. How's the rail, Izzy? Okay, keep going. So what do you think, Blaine? We're parked with the mega yachts. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's, uh, that's funny. But look at, don't all mega yachts have a door? Come on. And paint peeling off the side. Oh, come on, but damn, we're looking good here. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's, this is like... I the, think this is the bad side. The wall hanging to nowhere. Yeah. Oh, but then we got some varnish. And then we've got the mega yachts. Because, yeah, we're like mega yacht style right now, honey. Yep. She'll get there. This is the type of boat Blaine and I used to work on. The second boat we worked on together. Yeah. I think this is smaller, actually. It's probably pretty close. Yeah. Not but Blaine was the engineer and I was the first mate. Not as much freeboard, though. Not as much freeboard, no. But it was good. So yeah, as we say, we were big, but definitely not bougie. Caught behind Venetian blinds 
How to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep Since 99 What I thought was gone Was sitting in my pocket In plain sight All alone I think it's time for me to go Burn on Along the way, fell between the foam, pulling the stitches. Time to let go, so come what may. Don't look before you leave. What you give, you get. Gotta get a milkshake while we're waiting. Okay, so. How is it is? Big. Your hair is stuck in it. What kind is that? Rainbow Sherbert. Rainbow Sherbert. You got the same? After getting ice cream at Fisherman's Wharf, we headed across the channel. The mega yacht marina that they built in Victoria was built, I don't know, like three years ago? And now it's for sale. I think we're in trouble. Harbor Patrol told us to follow him. I crossed exactly where I'm not supposed to and that boat behind me is Ducky Beast Boat and they turn on their lights and then I had to go back over here so I wasn't going to get squished by an airplane. So he gave me the public port Victoria traffic scheme to follow. I am allowed to paddle over there or paddleboard so I would do that but there is no going with a little motorboat. No boats over under, sorry, no boats under 65 feet allowed over at the mega yacht marina or the police stop you. And then it was time to do a little bit more exploring of Victoria before heading out on the town. And you haven't seen Victoria until you listen to the Piper and check out the Empress Hotel. Okay. And then we joined Krista, Dave, and Jackie for dinner at the Irish Times Pub. So now we're going to this little cool place. Which way are you pointing that? At us. Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Jackie's here too. Hello. And we're going to a little place I call it the Elephant Bar. And I was like, Krista, let's go to the Elephant Bar. Chris is like, little jumbo? Little jumbo? Ooh. Elephant Bar! Oh, look, Jack, they're even lit up. Let but it's go, got awesome cocktails. I call it the elephant bar. Hey there, Blaine. After a lovely dinner and cocktails with family and friends, it was time to head back to the boat parked at Ships Point. Um, so we're in the Inner Harbor and it is Canada Day tomorrow, but Canada is tough this year because Canada has been finding a lot of unmarked mass graves of children that were taken away and taken to residential schools, um, Aboriginal children. So out of paying respect, Canada Day celebrations were cancelled in Victoria. But I'm so proud to be Canadian. So I'm doing a balance on the boat of Canada flags and orange pennants. And I went up to Fort Street Flags 
and they have a Canada flag that the red part is all totemic art. It's absolutely stunning. But we're gonna fly that out of respect for the indigenous peoples of Canada and the land that we're on of theirs. And we're gonna fly that on the boat this Canada Day. So this is Fort Street Flags, awesome shop, locally owned. But the flag we're picking up looks just like this. Check it out. Um, so and that's what we're going to fly off the boat. Answer,